Hello guys, upon popular request on my stream, here's some Carl solo play with commentary. Editor GigaChad Lostboy will be helping us here with a near item level gunslinger for us. Looking at the spec, he has plus 13 brow weapon, decent gems, and 5-3 time to hunt build. You can also see shield pots on the 4th button in the battle item. He said he's taking this due to lightning orbs guaranteed HP damage, because it might take a salvation buff out. So starting in the fight, if you can see here, he starts fighting at the corner. I did tell put Carl in the open space during my guide videos, but most of his attacks are based on backstep. Since Lustbo is soloing it, he made sure to position near the wall area to make him not go far away during his backstep attacks. The SCD Stagger Counter Destruction Mechanic has about a 40 second internal cooldown. So since he started to fight around 1814 timer, you can expect him to do the mechanic around 1725 on the timer. And you can see over here, this is one of the backstep patterns, but there's a wall behind him so he did not fly away as far. Lost Boy dodges the counterattack on purpose here because he may get the SCD mechanic with less than 10 seconds. And since TTH only has one counter from Peacekeeper, he decides to save it. Now here's Lost Boy doing the SCD alone, very clean. Carl's recommend to be run with 4 players due to 20 orbs spawning on each X position. Lost Boy is doing this solo, so he must clear all the orbs by himself. Since the orbs spawn at X position based on Carl, he is receiving the buffs at the nearest 5 orbs as soon as it spawned, and use range attack to make sure he does not get additional buffs to bleed himself to death. Also, I wanted to point out that Lustboy is an example of a very good player. He makes sure that the animation of the Guardian is executed, positions himself, and then uses his skills accordingly. If he knows he's safe for a long time, he uses longer animation skills like focus shot or target down. If the window is short, he uses his pistol skills or shorter animation skills to position himself. This is easy to do in theory, but very hard to execute. Carl does not have that many patterns that can knock the players over. This jump attack and tail whip is the only one that can knock you over. This jump attack is most dangerous, so you must save your space bar for this normal attack efficiently, like Lust Boy here. As for pheromones, he spawns a bunch of lightning bolts around him, so you should either throw it right away after seeing the effect, then stay out of the way, or stay out the whole time and wait for the explosion to throw it in afterwards. That way you won't be killed by the additional lightning bolts while you're trying to throw your pheromone. As for a particular normal pattern you're seeing here, if he stays in the air flying, he'll always drop at the same spot instead of an aggro person. Keep that in mind and dodge accordingly. As for these dashing patterns, there can be up to 2 to 3 dashes. After the first dash, you need to see the indicators pointing at the aggro person. In this case, you see the indicator points at Lust Boy again, so you can expect another dash incoming.
This is Carl's big orb attack. This is counterable, but since it's an internal cooldown, Lost Boy runs away safely and comes back. You need to recognize this pattern or it may kill you. This large orb must be killed immediately. The stacks won't hurt you more gradually, but if it reaches 10, you'll immediately die. Other than that, since this decreases your attack power, you must kill it as soon as possible. So if you look here, this is the other flyaway normal pattern that is aggro to the player. You'll see a flash of blue or yellow warning sign first, then he'll land. This is the other variables from the flyaway attack. With that clean kill by Lust Boy, this concludes the commentary run of Kaoligos. Feel free to take this as reference to help your future homework runs. As always, thanks everyone. Bye!